Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the video. Today is the day, so roll that intro. Okay, today is my full day of eating on keto. Uh, this just got messy. Right now, I'm scrambling some eggs. And I've got cheese over here and a carb, yeah, carb balanced tortilla. Alrighty, there it is. A super simple breakfast, really quick because we are about to head to school. Did I mention it was Monday already? No, I didn't. It's Monday, February 22nd, and breakfast to go. Two eggs, one slice of Colby cheese, and then one Mission Carb Balanced Tortilla, and I will do the macros right there. So yes, it's Monday, which means grocery day. Grocery day. Um, for anyone watching, if you were watching the weather this past week, you know that Texas can't handle cold weather. Like super cold weather. That was super cold weather for us. Our power grid went down, well, rolling blackouts turned to power outages um and people you know people stocked up they hit the grocery stores they bought all they could i guess um, but also deliveries weren't being made so our grocery stores kind of went bare for a little bit especially um meats you know meat department every kind of meat every kind of meat um so, since it was, you know, three degrees, and we weren't going to the grocery store, we weren't out driving, we, we played it as safe as we could, we didn't need to go anywhere, um, so I decided to uh, stop my keto diet for a little bit, took about four days off of just, you know, eating what we had at home. But now, back to the grocery store, I'm gonna take you in with me and stock up on those keto things because it's time to get back to it. So here we go. because 
we were so incredibly blessed during this, uh, what, <laughs> what we're calling Snowmageddon around here. Or Snowvid, either one. Either one works. Um, I, we had friends, people we knew that were out of power and out of water for two, three, sometimes four days. Um, I had a family, a mother, daughter, and granddaughter uh, all in the same house. They did not have, they didn't have power for about three days, but they didn't have water for about five days. Um, now they, you know, they got through it. They had bottled water. They had, um, I don't know if they, I don't know if anybody brought anything to them. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, because that's the way our church works. Um, but just, No power. I mean, I I don't know a whole lot about the Texas grid. I know it's kind of isolated and it's not good at sharing energy <laughs> uh, from what I've heard, but that's just, that's scary. That's scary if you don't have like a fireplace. And around here, around here, um, newer Newer homes, newer apartments, they're not built with fireplaces. Uh, so, what do you do to heat? You know, no power. Some, some people had generators. My father-in-law loaned his out to a neighbor but we were, we were incredibly blessed. Our power outage was about one second, and I think it was just a surge. It, I mean, it wasn't even. Right now, we are on a um, boil water notice and have been since about Friday, Thursday or Friday, because all of our, you know, all of our water, water plants, uh, power went out there, so pumps couldn't run, pipes broke, we have a breakdown at the dojo. The whole, almost the whole line is just little breaks everywhere. It just kind of wrecked a lot of places. And, you know, you may have heard us complain. You may have heard us get angry, especially our governor. But in all honesty, that doesn't happen up north. That doesn't happen where this kind of weather happens all the time. And even though it doesn't happen down here all the time, we should still be prepared for it. Our, our power grid and, in my opinion, people in general. We were, we were good to go. If we... If we had a power outage or water outage, um, you can you can just go ahead and call me a prepper. I might do a video on that. I might do some videos on how I prep. If you want to see that, you know, comment below, and I will definitely, definitely do that. Be happy to. So, uh, I guess that's the end of that. We were incredibly blessed. Lord protected us tremendously. Um, I wish that we could have helped more people, I guess. Um, but it seems to be over now. We've had some beautiful weather. <laughs> Went from 3 degrees to 75 degrees on Sunday. It was pretty amazing. And in fact, I'm getting hot right now. But it's 44 degrees outside right now clear skies and that sun is hot. So on my way home, put groceries up, get busy with the rest of life.
half. Right up here. This is Tuffy. Tuffy was bottle fed when she was little. Well, she's still being fed. She thinks she's a dog. She just stays up here with the dog, with Gracie, by the house. Just hangs out. There's my Grace. Yes, good set. Set. Girl. Yeah, Tuffy. Come here. So this is lunch. I get that it is very <laughs> uncolorful, but it's super delicious. It's one of my favorites. It's a Philly mix with cauliflower um, and cheese, of course. I usually do these in a wrap, but I did not pick up any lettuce, any romaine lettuce or anything like that to actually wrap them up in. So it's just going to be a steak dinner, <laughs> a steak lunch, I guess, with cauliflower, cheese, and again, I'll put the macros up. And that's lunch for today. I have not decided what's for dinner yet. Um, it's a dojo day, so I need to prep it uh, sometime this afternoon. I think it's going to be sausage. I think I'll make jambalaya for uh, my husband and son and then I will have just sausage and maybe beans, veggie, something, figure it out. That was delicious. I mean, how can it not be delicious? It's a Philly cheesesteak mix. Um, next time though, speaking of mixing, uh, once my cauliflower is done, I'm going to mix it in with the steak, mushrooms, peppers, Season it up really nicely, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Uh, maybe a little chili flake, a little cayenne. Kind of spice it up a little, just a smidgen. Uh, mix that cauliflower in, cheese covered, and it will be way better. It was good, but it'll be way better. All right, it is about two o'clock and I, I figured that lunch would not be, would not last very long. So here's my snack, a jalapeno cheddar sausage link and about an ounce of Colby cheese. Okay, so I've got stuff on my camera. Like I said, I got dinner ready for my husband, also was able to do meal prep for him. Uh, packing up my things to go to the dojo right now so it's go time having a little discipline use code Bowen 10 to save uh, and get that mixed up get my gear packed and I'm out so on my keto diet my goal is to stay under 30 grams of net carbs. Uh, I give myself a little bit of allowance. It works for me. Uh, usually, you want to stay under 20, 22-ish, 25 probably max, but sorry it's so bouncy on my road. Country roads are bouncy. Uh, so for me personally, uh, I like to stay under 30 grams of net carbs. 
So we'll see if I'm good for today. I did not do any pre-planning. Um, I just, this is what I decided to eat. And if I'm under 30, awesome. If not, I've got to make some adjustments. So that's what we'll see. It is the end of the day. Made it back home from the dojo, done with training. Training was fantastic. But now I am beat and it's time to eat. So tonight's dinner is real quick dinner. I still have some jalapeno cheddar sausage left over. So I'm gonna have some of that. Crispy chicken, bacon green beans, and a Rotel black bean mix that uh, this I'm ready to devour. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, maybe you got some ideas. If you want to see more of what I eat on keto, because I've made up some really good recipes over the years, years ago when I was doing it, um, that are really tasty, really enjoyable. If you want to see something like that, if you want to see keto recipes, comment below, like the video, just let me know, and I would be glad to do those too. Um, thanks again for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Go be mighty.